got to go update that. We took new pictures and shit. I got to go update <laughs> that. No, that was nice, though. I'll fuck with it. Thank Dude, you. Yes, we have some taking some updated pictures. Yeah, I got to go fix that. But yeah. thank you. We got Cuff tonight. You know, Cuff, let the people know where you're from, what you do. Go Timberwolves, whatever you say. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my name is uh, Cuff. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I have a podcast of my, of my own relationship podcast, just trying to get men and women to get a better understanding of, each, of how each other think, you know, uh, relationship wise. And uh, yeah, man, that about sums it up. Go T Wolves. You heard what she said? <laughs> yeah, T Wolves. They ain't, they playing right now, right? They on right now. Yeah. Game I'm two on Thursday. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. you keeping up? Game two. You oh, know oh, on, I see, I, I, see. Listen, this one right here, I know sports. That oh, one oh is this way. That that one, oh, however it is, she don't yeah. know. So don't ask. Her. Oh no, nah. <laughs> hey, I, I fuck with it. Now nah, you impressed because like those are two small market teams. So you knowing that that's kind of big. I oh yeah, with like, it. listen, I got you. Oh, I'm not a fan, but I got you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> go go to states. Now, nah, how about that? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Bye. I'm from California how and bye. How about okay. that? How about that? Bye. How about that? <laughs> how about that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know nothing. So, yeah. Go Tonight to state. we're talking about what? What it is? Traditions and emotions. Non-traditional women wanting traditional men. I mean, how y'all feel about that? Like, can it work? Can it work? Uh, what do you think, Cuff? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go first. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. That can't. That can't work. You can't be untraditional, but want to be with somebody who's traditional. Like that. There's no way in hell it's gonna work. And I don't understand how anybody who isn't traditional would want someone who is traditional. That like makes no sense to me. I Maybe they can balance it out sense. some kind of way. It's called balance. Oh, yeah, I feel you because, I mean, me, myself, I wouldn't say I'm traditional, but I do mm -hmm. have some traditional value, though, like some stuff I do the value mm -hmm. that is traditional. So my shit kind of mixed. So I feel like me personally, I could probably um, date a woman who's either or traditional or she's not. I can like I can get down with either or. Right. OK, mm -hmm. so because you don't have the full standard set in stone traditions, you got you flexible with it. Nah. Yeah, but it's definitely certain things that you have to not be willing to do but you have to like damn near like do naturally like there's some yeah. things i feel like just come with being a woman hmm what's that like uh, i don't know if it's because my dad told me when i was young he was like son i don't care what you think you're gonna have going on as an adult but two things you want to learn learn how to cook and clean because you might have a woman that can't do neither one my mm -hmm. ex-wife my ex-wife wasn't good at neither one the good thing is, I'm big on stuff like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, like, from here on out, anybody that I'm with, if, if I see, like, a sink full of dishes, then me, naturally, I'm going to clean the motherfuckers up because they look just nasty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or if it's, like, the, the kids are pissed on the side of the toilet seat. For me, if a woman see that, it could, like, just, just sit down, piss, get up, wash your hands, and leave out the... That's, like, nasty for a woman to see that. And not, and not naturally yeah. do something about yeah, it. Yeah, that's if that, yeah. if it discuss if it discuss me, it has right. to discuss you. Right. <laughs> so you know, I, so and stuff, I stuff like if that. Discuss a woman. If it discuss a man, it's like that ain't nasty to you. It's like men can take on more discussing shit than a woman. It's weird psychological shit. Probably yeah. I get it, but yeah, I feel what you're saying on that. So, so yeah. do you think that non traditional woman can date a traditional man or vice versa um i don't think a non i don't i think that it's it's it has happened but do i think think it's successful no but i think more it's more likely that a traditional woman would date a non-traditional man opposed to a traditional man dating a non-traditional woman because yeah. men when it comes men who are traditional they not bending and they're not trying to hear that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. but traditional women traditional women who are naturally traditional they would settle for a man who's not traditional like you, if they, you know, come with certain qualities or whatever, or may even, right. you know, 
maybe some out of their box that they fell in love with, but more likely mm -hmm. for the woman instead of the man, most definitely. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I and you think it'll work. Mm -hmm. We think it can work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, most definitely. What about you, Smoke? Child, I don't know. Shit. Um, <laughs> 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 smoke went over there smoking. I am. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got nothing to do with it. But I mean, I think it's possible. Like I said, I think it. I think two people like that could balance each other out some kind of way. And then it's always a learning experience. So if I'm not, if I'm non-traditional or not as traditional as you know he may be, then maybe he could teach me something. You know, and vice versa. So that's what I was going to ask you. So do you think like a traditional man can? change a non-traditional woman into being a traditional woman you asking me because I, I definitely I'm just saying yeah. in general in general oh, okay well, well I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say uh it's possible but a traditional man isn't really gonna want to take the time and energy especially in a woman who's like of a certain age to try mm. to like reverse all of that in her mentally like if a girl in her 30s you know what i'm saying and she's been untraditional from day one when she learned through her parents everything like that like me personally i could be cool with you friend with you everything but i'm not gonna date you and try to help you change this for years it's gonna be like years to change like i'm not i'm 36 years old you feel me so i don't got time to be like nah i'm cool but if you my friend in any capacity you will still try to help me right yeah, and I'll probably I'm continue being your friend. You're not gonna get in a relationship and raise me, but still help me. Oh, me personally, yeah. Men in general, nah. Like, not that many men is like really want to be friends with women like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like women, women don't like being friends with women. So it'd be it'd be weird that women could believe yeah. a lot of men would want to be friends with women. Like, y'all don't like being friends with each other, barely. Like. <laughs> Y'all, y'all be having like two, three. Y'all right be having like there. two, three friends. Yeah, y'all be having like two, three friends. The rest of them, y'all really. You know. I mean, I'm with you when you're right. I can't <laughs> argue with that. <laughs> I never looked at it like that. Being friends with a woman is hard. One of my best friends is a woman, and like being friends with a woman is definitely hard. They be associates. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> it can work. It can work. So what are your cuff what are your you said you can you can go to a tradition? <coughs> oh yeah, uh you kind of cut out a little bit, but I think I heard what you said. Girl, you don't cut out a Yeah. I think she said she froze. Sometimes she did go she, out and she have to come back. Did she ask me? Um, damn, I heard a little bit of what she said. Yeah, I think it was about the the non traditional. I don't remember. I ain't even gonna sit here and try to lie and say I know. Right. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna. Say I think that. what she was getting to was something about like basically. Uh, I'm what back. Some of the things. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Give it. So I know you said, leave it. You know they just come. You know, back. The they, know they be trying to them. they be trying to hate on me, but you know I'll be back. I'll be gone when I come back again. <laughs> but you said that, you know, depending on the woman, you'll date a traditional traditional or not traditional woman. What are some qualities as like this, like non negotiable as a traditional woman? Like, mm, good question. You, like, like, they, like, like cooking and cleaning should come natural to you. Uh, but like I said, my dad told me that's important for me to know. So I also do those things too. I cook my ass off and I'm clean and night and, and neat and all that too. So like you ain't cooking every day. Like trust and believe. Like I'm gonna wanna cook. Cause I can hook some yeah. shit up too. But like that should be a natural thing for you though. Like, yeah. I, I don't I don't really mess with uh restaurants too often, uh fast food, like barely ever. My mom used to cook all the time, so I'm used to real that's food, so that's, that's like a, you know what I'm saying? That's like a big okay. thing. Cook, cooking and cleaning is like probably the biggest thing. And then like also, um, a person that could like when I'm when I'm uh 
they can really pay attention to me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm talking and, you know what I'm saying? It's just speaking on how I feel about the day or just about things going on in the world, whatever it may be, like, mm -hmm. put your phone down, put your phone down, and, like, just pay attention. Mm -hmm. You don't even got to have a whole bunch more to say or nothing, but just, like, pay attention. That's, like, real big for me, too. Attentive. Um, yeah, attentive, definitely. <laughs> uh, I don't really trip about, like, some niggas don't like their girls, like, posting, uh, say, a bikini picture, shit like that. Shit like that, honestly, I don't really care. That shit don't bother me. I'm uh, confident, secure who I am. That shit don't really... Not saying if that stuff bother you, that means you're insecure or anything like that, but... Right, right, right. I, I just... Shit, shit like that don't bother me. I'm cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, people have to understand, just because you get in a relationship with somebody, it does not automatically mean now you just ugly. Like, you still <laughs> handsome, you still pretty. Uh, I don't really think that. People in, the, in, the same, in, the, in, the, in the same sense, men are so thirsty, and men... It don't matter what a woman looks like. Every woman in the world got uh they DMs is going crazy to a certain extent. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like when your girl when your girl posts certain kind of pictures and everything, she is bringing more attention to herself. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. You know what I'm saying? She's bringing that attention to everything. Whether she's trying to do it or not, that is exactly what she's doing. You know what I'm saying? Or if she's retweeting certain little freaky little quotes and <laughs> you know what I mean? Like me personally, right, perfect, like like. Yeah, like me personally, like if I really fuck with you like that, if we got to that point, then I trust you. So that shit don't bother me like that. But men right. in general, like nah, right. that ain't gonna. With men in general, that shit ain't gonna fly though. Like nah. Right, right, okay. So I was listening to um, this conversation the other day, and they were talking about people being emotionally and mentally unavailable when it came to dating, and I was like, damn. Am I emotionally and mentally unavailable when it comes to dating? And I just don't know it. So do y'all think you single cuffed? Or you no, I got a girl. I got okay. a girlfriend, yeah. So um before you met her when you were dating, did you find it hard to date? And do you think it's hard to date because people are emotionally and mentally unavailable? And they like the thought of a relationship, but not necessarily being in a relationship. Or they just don't really fucking know that, damn, maybe this is why I don't, it, you know, I don't entertain this and I'd be like, fuck this yeah. shit. <laughs> I, I feel like, uh, really in it. I, think, I think most people, they want to be in a real relationship, but people have different ideas of what a relationship is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's true. And as as time goes on, like open relationships and stuff like that is being more becoming more common. Mm -hmm. And and I think like when people are able to be more honest in the future, like relationships will be more successful because people just can't be honest. And the reason why a man can't really tell a woman like, I love you, I only want to be with you, I could be with you forever. But there's gonna be time where I want to fuck something else. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. Because your woman, most women don't make you feel comfortable enough to be that honest. Yeah. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you. And then, like, it's really to answer your question, because I kind of went left field a little bit, but to answer your question, um, I think people get played so often because of those things I just talked about. They get played so mm -hmm. often by people, they kind of put a certain little wall up. You know what I'm saying? Where it's mm -hmm. like, you almost don't want to allow yourself to take a person 100% seriously because of what the past three did when you let mm -hmm. your guard down. Mm -hmm. Or like some women might, some women might not want to be the traditional woman to like let you lead because the last three, four guys, I tried it and that you shit was what did in. So now it's like, so now it's like harder for me to, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I understand like both ends of it. It's just, mm -hmm. and it all comes down to people just being able to be honest. Though. Cause I don't mm -hmm. think we tell each other shit like that. Mm -hmm. And men definitely the way the way I talk, men definitely don't talk how I talk. No, you know what I'm saying. So like, like it's like it's like I'm honest as hell. Like my girl, I wish she was. She, she might be here before we end. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the way our shit set up, like I'm, I can be 100 percent honest with her about everything. Like, and I think that's yeah. how you should be. I really feel like that's how you should be. But people are fearful of hurting the other person's feelings by really yeah, or, their truth. But it's right. like. Bitch, I want to live my truth. I got to get this out or it's going to be a part of me that's going to be miserable 
because I yeah. can't give what I really yeah. want to. I can't fully so, be me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you are mentally and emotionally? I know you married, but you have single friends. <laughs> so just listening, you know, talking to them and do you um feel I think it's a little bit of both. I mm -hmm. think, um, like Cuff said, a lot of the emotionally unavailable is due to things that have happened to them in the past. So, like, if they see something, one red flag, I'm done. Yeah, and I deal with they that. don't. They don't like. Okay, let me go ahead and give this person a second chance, just to maybe even a third chance, because you know I'm a person of chances. I give people a benefit of the doubt. I, she knows that she hates that about me, but that's just who I am. I'm I'm a, a chance type person. I give people the benefit of the doubt, but you know I think that not just you know people go through stuff. You know just because you see an image of something in that person don't mean that's that person. They could have been going through something at the time. You know what I'm saying? Let yeah, them work through yeah. that. Maybe them go. You know. Yeah. Different Dealing different people bring themselves. different people bring right. different stuff out of you. Right. That and that's again when you have these honest conversations. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You yeah. you talk it out. But I think it's a little bit of both. A lot of a lot of honest conversations are uncomfortable. They are definitely they very uncomfortable. But I think if they're done up front, which a lot of them are not. Um, I have I can say personally in my relationship, some things that was discussed up front and there's some things that weren't discussed up front and we kind of figured our way out, you know, through mm -hmm. the midst of the last 10, 11 years. But there are some conversations that have to be talked about up front and a lot of them are not yeah. done. So that's what yeah. the problem comes in at. I have a whole podcast about that exact topic straight up. That shit's hard to do. It's hard to do though. It is. It's very hard. Be up front, like it's not easy. Up front and be honest up front. Don't be that representative from because that up front, sometimes the representative is there and then years down the line, be like, oh wait, this is not the shit I signed up for. Man, usually the representative is there. <laughs> Majority of the time, right. And that's when you that's when that being honest with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I understand the being up front. I get it. And I guess I'm going to play devil's advocate here. But if it's something <laughs> that I want to do or I like to do or something that, like he said, you know, I love you. You my nigga. But sometimes I want to bounce on somebody else. So if, uh... I, if, I, if, I, if I come to you not if I come to you, if I feel like I just cannot say that to you and you know, say we in this thing five years but I keep, oh my God, I really need to tell him this and I come <laughs> to you like, yeah, I could have said it up front in the beginning but I was I'm saying that's something but, I need like uh. yeah, that's stuff you gotta say early right there but I ain't gonna lie to you yeah. <laughs> It's, it's I'm pretty sure that person would have evaluated the situation at the time. Like, mm, yeah. do I want to deal with something like this? Is this something that yeah. I can handle personally? And out of ten men, out of, out of ten men, you might find like two men who might be <laughs> right with that. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's gonna be very rare. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> yeah, but um, <laughs> you're right. That is very. Rare. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Unless he'll, I mean, even even if he don't fuck with you like that, even if y'all not in a real, real relationship, like men almost like to feel like they're the only one. If y'all like, if y'all like, if y'all consistently fucking, you know what I'm saying, whether y'all dating or not, like men like to feel like they're the only one. Like another nigga touching and licking in the uh, like, nah, you don't really, nah. But it's it'll be for the same reason. That ain't even what we're supposed to be talking about. But it'll be for the same reason <laughs> that you just said that you know I love you, babe. But sometimes I'm. But again, that's a conversation I need to be had ahead of time because you don't know if yeah. that person that you would can handle or deal with something and like you, that. And I, I yeah. agree, and that's why I say I understand stuff need to be talked about immediately going into this. 
but sometimes people are fearful. So it's fucked Living up. In your truth. They don't be, yeah, they can't live in their truth. And then they feel like they have to sell you years later. <sighs> and not necessarily as a, I want to do this now, but I need to get this out. No. Okay. Well, okay. you know, shit happens. I just, like I say, I, I just <laughs> a lot of different ways. I ain't saying that's what I want. Don't quote me on shit. I'm just talking. <laughs> I'm talking Don't my shit. Don't quote her on shit. <laughs> I'm just talking my shit. That is all. <laughs> so, you know, talk my shit again. Um, <laughs> talk your shit home. Our last topic we're going to talk about is, I guess, what makes what makes a man what makes a man a real man? Yeah, I'm interested to see what y'all got to say about that. Um... This man takes care of his business and business and someone who's honest and we're big, me and my family, we're big on your name. Your name is your word. So as a man, I think you carry your name. So walk around here with some respect. You know what I'm saying? Like. When someone speaks of you, they should speak highly of you. They, they shouldn't speak negatives. He's a liar. He's still, you know what I'm saying? Your name is your bond. So that's a man to me, like someone, you know, respect, respect don't respect. lie, don't steal, you know, a man be right by yeah. their family. Yeah. It, yeah. It's not about the class, the money, you know, it's all about the individual because, mm -hmm. you know, we always say if, if the man is, what they say, if the man is, I don't know, <laughs> what the head, the man is the head of the household. So if the okay. man, oh, yeah, you yeah. know, it got it, got it together, the house is going to run smoothly. So, gotcha. you know, gotcha. that's what I'm going to say. Now I think about it for a minute. Oh. I ain't had my, I ain't had my go-go juice in a while. I was on Lent. But it's coming back now. <laughs> this way. Lynn is over with. So I know, but I have I listen. Oh, I haven't yeah. had time to restock my go go juice. I um, <laughs> but next time it's coming back, I have water. You need it's water. Back, you sassy. You need water. You need <laughs> down. <laughs> For me, um the only person I can say a real man, my daddy, like I was a daddy's girl. And I ain't saying that my daddy ain't did no fucked up shit because he has. I've seen it with my eyes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but still, even with all that, how he provided, took care, respect, like she said. Mm -hmm. That's what I... That's what I when compared. you spoke his name or you thought of him, you thought of a good man. He wasn't yeah. alive, he wasn't yeah, still was always, he no took matter. care of his family. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And no matter what was going on, and you know, again, I'm pretty sure in somebody else's eyes, they're gonna see shit differently. That's cool. Right. That's yeah. fine. What I saw, the good and the bad, what I saw at the end of the day mm -hmm. is a real man. So I'm not saying I'm looking for my dad in a man. But I'm looking for some of those qualities yeah. in a man. I don't want to date my daddy. So I'm looking at certain qualities I'm looking for. Not necessarily all of them. But if, you, yeah. if I see that you can move how he moved on some of this stuff. And again, mm -hmm. that's not have to be identical. Mm -hmm. But I need some of them qualities for me to <sighs> breathe some. <laughs> Exhale like they say. Right, you know, right. the older you Please. get, you realize shit. <laughs> <laughs> you understand movies more. So yeah. Right, right. Exhale. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well, I say uh a man like you said, you know what I'm saying, every day when he wake up in the morning and he go out into the world, like he should represent his name. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's mm -hmm. got to respect himself, you know what I'm saying? He should he should carry himself as a leader and be an example for his kids. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, pretty much like short and sweet. That pretty much sum it up for me though. Have yeah. you had a lot of conversation where women be like, "Well, a man's supposed to be this, and a man's supposed to be that." Have you? Yeah, because uh, podcast oh yeah, conversation all the time. I provoke relationship type conversations every single day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do it all the time with everybody. I irritate everybody. 
So yeah, I've heard all kind of shit. <clears throat> and a lot of women say that, and, and some of the women that say that, it'd be funny as hell to me, because like, the way they carry themselves is like, how can you expect so much from a man? Mm. And like, listen, with the way, with the way that you, with the you way that you act. tell it. Yeah, that shit is crazy to me. You, man, I be like. They be, they be wanting everything, but bring nothing. I had to go back to it, but for real, like some stuff is very simple. It's a certain skill that you should have as a woman, like mm -hmm. cooking and clean cleaning should be natural. Well, you say cooking. Are you talking about like, um, you know, cook some decent meals or are you talking about some Chef Boyardee? Um, nah, well, know, see, that's the first class. That's, <laughs> that's the thing, though. Check me out. That's the thing, though. Like, and I have the right to expect a good amount because like I can cook. Mm -hmm. Pretty goddamn good myself. So mm -hmm. you got to be able to cook as like as good as me, or a little better at least. You know what I'm saying? I sh I shouldn't be able to cook better. Than me. What? And I can <laughs> and I can cook and I can cook like so. Like, I'm saying so you have to meet somebody who can cook. Then you basically you ain't fuck with nobody who can't cook. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Like nah, you gotta be able. To, I, <laughs> but, I was married to so, well, I, I was so married when you so, say cook. You mean like like. Cook. Man, you gotta be able like like when Thanksgiving come up, you gotta be able to cook all the the stuff that's for Thanksgiving. You gotta not cook all that shit, oh, like damn. Christmas meals. So yeah. once she know how to cook it, but it doesn't. She might not use as much seasoning or as much <laughs> ingredients as you do. You know what I'm saying? She I'm saying to I'm eat, but it ha it has to be as good. I'm as talking about meat. Well, right. she's not a good cook. Not gonna be cheesy. And that's and that's and that's where I'm be so happy for the fact that she cooked. I'm gonna mm -hmm. go, I'm gonna go in there with you and be like, okay, well you them things over there, the sides and shit, you kill okay. that. I'm gonna I'm a season the meat. Go you cook it, this. you cook it, but I season the meat, you know what I'm okay. saying? Okay, you, I got yeah. you. Oh, I, hell got yeah. you. I, I got you. Okay. Yeah. I can work with her a little Damn. bit to get her. Oh, to hell go yeah. A little bit. I'm 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 happy that you just even in that motherfucker. So oh, like okay. I'm okay. definitely okay. I there, definitely there you go. See? They, all right, all right, okay, okay. I'm with you. Because I know you said earlier your mama cooked like every day. Did she cook like Sunday dinner every day? Because you know, I also, that's how we. My mom, my mom, my mom, my mom, my mom was a beast. I'm talking, she used to work like five nights, right, uh, at in home nursing. And she'll mm -hmm. come home, the first thing she'll do is start cleaning up some shit, or she'll like make get like get us up and direct us around the house to clean shit. She wouldn't lay down, shower first, nothing. Mm -hmm. She's a very neat, clean. The laundry was dirt was uh clean. The house is clean. She cooked real meals, like so. She that uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so you still so you expect that, regardless. Yeah. Listen, I I didn't never sit in a restaurant and eat like a Perkins Denny type thing until I was like 18, 19. That's how I was dating this girl who took me on a date to a place like that. You know what I'm saying? Before that, before that, it was I swear to you, we ate home cooked. We was lucky, and we was in the hood. We was in the hood, but like my stepdad and my had his shit man. together. But man, listen, yeah, we we was we was all right. <laughs> Mama, I ain't mad at you. I ain't I'm mad at you. Hey, my, hey, my, hey hold, but my my mom married a, a dude who had his shit together with the college and shit like that too. Also, so mm -hmm. like, shout out to my stepdad. You feel me? He played that a big mean, part. There you yeah. go. Shout out to okay. you. So, do you expect that for women? You the well, other woman you're with now? Does she cook? Kind of like that, like daily, or you know, is it often? Or Man, the, the girl I'm with now is like half the shit. Like how we are is like with my friends and shit here. They be like, bro, that shit just like that's crazy. But you got a good like she, she is as close to what I could look for in a woman that I probably ever would find on some real shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, like mm. she, she, she rare. It's so rare it feel fake. You know what I'm saying? It be like, mm -hmm. damn, like. Like, how is she so cool with so much and so understanding and like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know, but yeah, she cooked like a motherfucker. She cooked better than me, and she cooked all kind of there shit. You go. <laughs> uh, she be she be cleaning this shit. Like, she gave me my personal space. I said I want to start doing podcasts. She would buy me a camera. Like, like okay. she like really. You do like, it, girl. Yeah, Listen. yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we yeah, when she, oh, yeah, she, 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 she going like, uh, from the girlfriend to the fiance to the wife. You know what? I got married one time. That shit, uh, that shit kind of fucked my head up. I'm a little scared of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Man, you like sound it. like her. You sound <laughs> like her. Yeah, you sound that shit. like her. Yeah, that shit, wow. And I'm a, the, the advocate of marriage and love over here. 
Yeah, I like all that too, though. I always did with the whole family <laughs> film and everything, but it's just tough. It's cute. <laughs> it's cute. I hate you. It's cute. You know, I hate you. Cute, child. Whatever they be saying, it does what it needs to do. Whatever they be saying. <laughs> Your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Anyway, thank you, Cuffs, for joining us tonight. We had so much fun talking about traditions and emotions with you. Yeah. We definitely yeah, want you sure. to have us on one of your episodes. You Most know. definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be funny. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have my co-hosts, at least one of them all with me. Okay. Um they're a little uh they 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 different to me, you know what I'm saying? So okay. it'll it, it be like, 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 like a little like, debate like us, the yin to the yang. Uh, I, it's hard to sum it up, but like, yeah, okay. they're a little, they're a little, they're a little more wild, a little more younger. Okay. Little more, you know, Made the black guys go wild, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I appreciate y'all having me on. I'm definitely gonna rock with y'all again. I like yeah. to come with y'all's again. Make sure y'all tag me for everybody that's listening. It's your boy Cuff from the Brainstorm Podcast, and uh, yeah, appreciate y'all. Thank you. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for coming on. It was Thank good. You, want to say you already know what I want to say. I better see y'all at Blunts and Brunch, hey. May 28th, Duval hey. County. Stand we up. We got some good shit for y'all. We got some good Listen, shit. Listen, we got some good giveaways, yeah. you know, all that contest going on. And then you can still put that deposit down for the Let's Go Jamaica. We're going to Jamaica September. on Duval Bay. Yeah, y'all check that out. Mm. Y'all check that, that out. We going. Cool. It's not too late to pay. It's still a it's payment a plan. Girls trip. Yeah. It's a guys trip. It's a bring your booze trip. It's a everybody it's a vacation, it's a vacation, good vacation, goddamn time vacation. trip. Okay. Vacation, whole vacation, whole nation. All of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go, man. Bye, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. Be cool.